Well, the big subject of value. It's often commented on in our videos or even shouted at us across the woods. Are e-bikes good value? Are they really worth it? Well, here's my attempt to answer that very question. So, do e-mountain bikes offer good value? Well, it depends on how you're gonna measure it. I mean, if you're gonna measure it in the places you're gonna visit, or maybe the climbs you're gonna conquer, or the variation of the people that you're gonna ride with, then yes, they definitely do offer good value. But people are very intent in measuring value in the monetary term, rather than the other ways. Okay, time to take a look at what value actually means. I mean, it's quite easy to walk into a bike showroom, look at that price tag and get sucked into how many zeros and how many digits are on there. Let's take a look at what the English dictionary defines as value. Well, it says the regard that something is held to deserve, the importance, the worth or usefulness of something. Now, this is a great way to look at e-mountain bikes. So I suggest we start there. So how do we quantify value? Well, as I mentioned earlier on, it's quite easy to get wrapped up in the term value as in the monetary term. And yes, these bikes can be expensive. And yes, they can put a big dent in your wallet if you're gonna allow them to. But I think you need to look at value in different ways. The ways that you can use this bike in your everyday life, the benefits it's gonna give you. Well, I've just received my brand new high bike. So let's take a look at value with this bike in mind. So this is the bike in question. This is my High Bike X Juro All Mountain 3.0. Now this is a classic mid-range e-mountain bike. It's come in, it comes in at around 4,500 pounds and it's got a load of cool features. You've got a Bosch Generation 4 motor on there. You've got mixed wheel size, 29 up front, 27.5 out back, 625 watt hour battery, SRAM group set, Magura brakes, you name it. It's pretty loaded, that bike. Now this, is, as mentioned, is a mid-range bike at 4,500. The price points of e-mountain bikes come in at around 3,000 pounds for a budget full suspension bike, all the way up to a whopping 12,000 pounds for those high-end models. And yes, that is a lot of cash. But if you actually do your research, you will find that standard mountain bikes without a motor or a battery or all the software are well within that price bracket. So you know, you've got those cheaper full suspension bikes all the way up to those super bikes, but they're all just pedal bikes. But what I want to know is how much of an all-rounder this bike is is. Time then to take a look at how useful an e-mountain bike could be in your life. How can you really utilize it in your day-to-day -day business? Well, first up, taking a trip to the shops could not be easier than with an e-mountain bike. Stick a rucksack on, stick a decent lock in there to make sure it's nice and secure and go about your daily shop. No stress for parking, no stress for traffic, and you're gonna get a workout too. Next up, commuting. Commuting is super easy on an e-mountain bike. If you've got a short trip to commute to work, then this is definitely the one. Again, arrived refreshed at work, you're gonna get a workout, you're gonna beat traffic, and you're gonna save a ton of money where you're not paying tax, insurance, and fuel, all those things, and you're gonna get way fitter. So that is the perfect tool for commuting. Then, an e-mountain bike is definitely the key to the outdoors. You're going to discover way more riding. You're going to discover more stuff even on your doorstep. And it could be that kick to get at the mountain you've always dreamed of. And then there is, of course, how capable the e-mountain bike is. It's a cross-country bike. It's a downhill bike. It's a chairlift up into the mountains. And it can transport your kids all with ease. There is no need to own more than one bike if you've got an e-bike. They're way more capable and a lot more versatile than a standard mountain bike. Time then to take a look at the technology involved on an e-mountain bike compared to a mountain bike. We're not just talking about wheels, suspension, brakes and components that make up a standard mountain bike. There is way more to consider when you're talking about an e-mountain bike. Things such as the motor, motor costs, well they come in at around a thousand euros for a motor, let alone all the R&D in developing that motor to make it as good as they are now. Then of course you've got the display and the control units on the handlebars, a load of data and a load of information and again a huge cost in 
R&D. And then there's the software that relays that information from the motor to the display unit and vice versa back down there. Now software is gonna vary across the brands. The cheaper bikes will just tell you which mode you're in and how fast you're going, cadence, things like that. Whereas the high-end bikes, such things as the Grape G6, well that has a massive uh, software development going on with that bike. It tells you such things as live tracking, live cameras, front and rear, sat nav, you name it, that bike will do it. And then there is of course Bluetooth connectivity and all the apps. I mean, what standard mountain bike has an app? Mind blowing, the amount of technology that goes into an e-mountain bike. Now there's no denying it, an e-mountain bike is a load of fun. So let's talk about fun. I mean, you're inspired to ride come rain or shine, night or day, slop or dry dusty trails. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be a load of fun when it's an e-mountain bike ride. Then the uphill is fun. Every single part of an e-mountain bike ride is fun. The uphills become challenging. The downhills become a load of fun. You can do a workout or you can go out for a cruise. The choice is ultimately yours. Then of course you can get fit riding an e-mountain bike. When you first get your e-mountain bike, you might hit the trails with more assist than you will do as you get fitter. As your fitness improves, you dial the assist down, therefore you can get more of a workout and get more fitness. The thing with standard mountain biking, that is quite a barrier straight away. If you're not fit on a standard mountain bike, it isn't fun. Now an e-mountain bike can make perfect financial sense, especially when you compare it to some of the other sports that a lot of us love to do. I mean, e-mountain bikes quite often get compared to off-road motorcycles. People saying, I can get a new KTM or a brand new Honda for the same price. And sure you can, especially for some of those high-end e-mountain bikes. But can you ride that motorcycle from your front door on the same trails and with the same people that you possibly could if you're riding an e-mountain bike? And then there is, of course, the ongoing costs when it comes to keeping a motorcycle on the road that you need to consider too. So how about some simple sports such as golf, for instance? Well, thousand pound golf club membership, you've got 800 pounds for a set of clubs, maybe a couple of hundred pounds for a trolley. You need to ask yourself the question, are those golf clubs gonna be as useful as an e-mountain bike? Or well, how about could an e-mountain bike replace one of your cars? Now, if your commute is short, it is definitely an option to commute by e-mountain bike. And if you've got two cars in your household, then an e-mountain bike can definitely replace one of those cars and it will pay for itself the amount of money you're gonna save on fuel, tax and insurance. It becomes that tool for transport in the week and a load of fun at the weekends. When you think about it, an e-mountain bike definitely does offer good value, especially when you compare it to a standard mountain bike with a like-for-like -like component tree. One of the great things about an e-mountain bike is that you don't need the latest lightweight component tree on there to make it enjoyable. I think there's always some compromise when it comes to mountain biking as well, and what tires you're gonna run, how light your com components are on your bike. It doesn't matter a little tiny bit on an e-mountain bike. It's all about durability and how long those parts will last. Okay, so let's take a look, a couple of examples of e-mountain bike versus mountain bike when it comes to value and the components that you're gonna get on it. First up, we have the Canyon Spectral CF 8.0. Now this is a standard lightweight mountain bike. It's coming in at 3,249 pounds, has a Fox 36 fork up front, Shimano component tree, DT Swiss wheel set, and it offers great value, especially when compared to other mountain bikes on the market. It even has a carbon front triangle. Then you have its electric brother, the Spectral On Aluminium 7.0. This is 200 pounds more, and it buys you this, the e-bike version of essentially the same bike. It comes with a Fox 36 fork up front, Shimano component tree, race face wheel set, but way more, you got the Shimano E8000 motor, Shimano battery, Shimano display, and Shimano software. So just for 200 pounds more, you're getting a lot more bike for the cash. So, are e-mountain bikes good value? Well, we've taken an in-depth look at that on today's video, but there are more questions you need to ask yourself. Do you want to ride more? And do you want to ride with riders with different levels of abilities, different fitnesses, different age? That is a great thing about e-mountain biking. It kind of removes those barriers that you do have in traditional mountain biking, whereas you've got that barrier of fitness. When you come for a group ride, everyone rides at the same pace on an e-mountain bike ride as everyone along for that ride. Then there's of course exploration. Would an e-mountain bike give you that little kick to get to the top of that mountain you've always dreamed about getting up? 
then there's the technology involved. The tech on an e-bike surpasses mountain biking by miles. Then there's the versatility of the bike. It can be used as a cross-country bike, a downhill bike, a jump bike, you know, a kid's taxi, or it could be an uplift at the weekend to get to the top of those downhill runs. Resale value, the list literally goes on. But let us know what you guys think down in the comments box below. Are e-mountain bikes good value? Do they put a smile on your face or a dent in your wallet? Because a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to EMBN and find us on social media too. Cheers.